Tesla's blowout earnings and revenue are so good that the CNBC announcers who are used to be negative were, uh, were at a loss for words. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks once again for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a repeat visitor, welcome back. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters. If you enjoy the show and would like uh, ideas, investment ideas, and tips that will help in your investing and trading, please join us on Patreon. We also wanted to mention uh, that you should consider liking and subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any of our notifications. We've had several situations where you needed to watch a show within a couple of hours in order to get the benefit of information prior to the close of the day. So by hitting the bell icon, it will definitely help you to stay up to date on what we're up to. So today's show is all about the oh my gosh earnings that just were delivered. I want to congratulate the folks at Tesla uh, and on the buy side, the folks that are purchasing the vehicles, etc., at the terrific numbers that were had. Uh, <laughs> You know, one of the arguments we were making is that you kind of knew what the revenue numbers were going to be because you could extrapolate the number of vehicles sold 200,000 times an average of 55,000 per vehicle, and that would give you the revenue number pretty closely, so we are just watching for the profit. That uh, number suggested Tesla's revenue would be about $11.2 billion. Turns out it came in at 11.96 or $12 billion in revenue. So the the number clearly was way ahead of what everybody thought. Uh, you know, the other numbers that sort of roll out here is the highest estimates for Wall Street folks was uh, about 11.2 billion in sales and profits at approximately on the highest end. The range was from like under 98 cents all the way up to about a dollar 19 a share and that number is actually one dollar and 45 so again we want to congratulate the numbers are pretty mind-blowing the result is that the stock price is up you know approximately ten dollars a share so far we're going to know more as we get into the after hours the other monster so there's a lot of information here to sort of go through and I apologize if we seem a little flighty here. I think the goal here would be first portion is sort of review the numbers in general. And then the second portion would be once we have those numbers, how do we look into the future? Because this report by the analysts is kind of broken into two parts. What do they think about the current quarter? How did it go? Then the next question is based on what just happened, what are they in implying or inducing into the next quarter slash into the next couple of quarters and how do those two play out relative to um, what investors want to see i'd have to say the biggest shocker right now that i think is going to completely change the situation for tesla is what just happened with the profit there are 384 million dollars worth of credits from the ev side and that was in decline <clears throat> from 458 million that they had. So <clears throat> the argument against Tesla has been we are not seeing the profits that we multiply by to determine what the stock price would be. And so now, guess what? We got those profits that everybody wanted to see in sort of <laughs> a huge fashion. So I really, really, really think that Tesla is smelling 700 for sure in the next couple of days, but could be smelling $750 a share. And the reason is that it now looks like there was an argument out there that said that what would happen is Tesla would have EV tax credits go away. And because they weren't showing profits without it, the company would be in trouble. That argument looks like it's really out the window because they're delivering the profits expected. Now, the way it was explained by the analysts that CNBC had was, well, we've seen them raising prices. So in theory, the driver for that revenue boost was a price increase. But I literally had a conversation a few days ago with a friend of the show, 
uh, who's a who's a Tesla insider, and he said to us, you know, the thing that people are not thinking about is when you mess with technology, what tends to happen is costs go down over time. So I would not be shocked to see. Um, well, we know that uh, the profit margin, instead of the 23% expected, pushed over to the. Uh, it 25 percent plus zone and so i really think that there's a lot of metrics that are coming from tesla right now that are pretty mind-blowing and this on the back end you have to think about as well that elon indicated that the chip shortage was affecting what was going on with the number of power walls produced but otherwise it, it didn't affect their ability to grow which i thought was interesting so we, we could go through endless interesting points here. So what I wanted to, so all the numbers I just shared with you are excellent. And the weirdest thing that, that happened is that we did a show yesterday and there's actually a chart from uh, um, Yahoo Finance and it listed the 20 analysts on Tesla it looked at the high, medium, and low of expected revenue and profits. And the strangest numbers are lurking there for the second part of our show. And those numbers are <clears throat> the expected revenue for the, the quarter, I guess they would have ended September, but announced in October. They were expecting their 12 uh, or a buck 54 in earnings and 12 and a half billion in revenue. So Tesla is delivering now the numbers not expected for that from them for another quarter. So I really think that we're in a very interesting zone right now, which is I, I, I believe that we have something called the three-day rule. And if the current numbers are off the chart and <clears throat> the future numbers are heading into that realm as well, the market makers slash Wall Street folks slash big firms have no choice but to give Tesla a very, very nice upgrade to reflect the strength of all the numbers that were just presented. So this, I'd say the next few days are going to be very interesting because we are getting the push up that you would expect from the hedge funds immediately looking at the numbers. But what I'm really looking forward to is tomorrow morning, probably more like Wednesday into Thursday morning, we're going to get the analysts announcing what their assessment is of the company. And if the assessment they deliver is what I just shared, what I think is going to show up, you know, this is absolutely a 30 point bump for the stock. But over a couple of weeks, Tesla could be up between 50 and 100 dollars a share off of what just happened. Will it occur? Um, you know, I actually think it will, but I think now the only question is how will the end of the week work out because there are a huge number of Wall Street firms that have to pin the stock below 700 in order <clears throat> to make all the money they plan to make out of this situation. And there's going to be a battle there between them and the large institutions that are going to have to get into Tesla now that those numbers are showing that strong. There are a couple of other data points I wanted to include here. Number one, um, the, the biggest sort of question mark for me about Tesla has been, well, what is really going on with numbers? Tonight, we're going to find out about, well, why is it that China had lower numbers than uh, previous quarters? Answer, because the cars are being in heavy demand of being shipped to Korea, Australia, and all these other destinations. So there's a narrative that's been out there that the new competition is coming in and those vehicles then would uh, soak up a bunch of the available sales. And the reality is the market is growing very rapidly to the point where Tesla can un unrestrained growth is Tesla's right now across the globe. And the, the change in buyer profile is such that they're increasing the size of the electric market to the point where the entrance as competition is not a big deal. And so I'm kind of stunned 
to see these numbers that emerged, we, you know, again, we thought that pretty much everything was known based on the revenue numbers just came out. But as you can see from what we're seeing, you know, they, they beat earnings by, you know, I guess I call it 50%, uh, the difference between 98 cents and a buck 45. And then revenue side, they delivered 12 billion instead of the 10.2 that was expected. So the only other, you know, there's 23 million in Bitcoin impairment, not a big deal based on how much they're making. Um, the only other thing that's going wrong right now is I think the question everybody's going to be wondering about, and we'll find out from the after our session, is <clears throat> are the trends that we're seeing that deliver these numbers sustainable? And I think the answer to that is yes. <clears throat> and the only holdup is a question's going to come up can you deliver? on this type of growth into the next two quarters with the chip shortage? And the answer I think we're going to come back with from Elon on this is yes. And one of the things she shared about this is that they have access to certain chips and they're able to rewrite the firmware to use chips that they weren't using previously to help to fill the gap of chips that might be hard to reach currently. So I'm kind of stunned, shocked, thrilled. Congratulations if you're a Tesla owner. Um, I look forward to uh, a very interesting, definitely the next couple of days we'll be in the ballpark of where we are now. But I think once the big holders get a hold of this and are able to tear the, tear it apart, tear the balance sheet apart and put it back together again, I think this is a sign of an $800 stock if I've ever seen one. And I think this is awesome, exciting, and I just want to congratulate everyone involved, all the uh, owners who have stuck by the company long term. Uh, and uh, I think this is going to be amazing <laughs> to see what happens. Um, so, you know, we're going to have more on this in subsequent shows as we get a chance to read through the reports as well. Uh, <clears throat> I would say... As we described, there's a two-stage process. Stage one is, how did the quarter go? Numbers were blown away. Stage two is, where is this headed? Is this a one-time event? Well, they've stated also that both Fremont and Germany will come online latter part of this year. And if they're going to contribute numbers to this already ahead-of-plan uh, number situation going on, I think there's no doubt that Tesla is in a very hot zone right now and about to blow much higher than they are currently. And uh, like I said, the CNBC folks stump mumbling and stumbling was really fun to see. And I look forward to them having to give Tesla their due as they get more analysts in to review what occurred. So. Uh, we want to remind you, we have a few SpaceX shares if there's interest. We also wanted to encourage you to like and subscribe to get more information. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. And uh, we also want to thank you for joining us on Patreon if you want great information in terms of figuring out how and what's next. Um, the next thing I wanted to review is our usual health tips. Don't forget, no more than a, a small salad as you go into the dinner hour, because this will facilitate better love making because you don't have all the blood that's rushing to the stomach will be available for other extremities. We also wanted to uh, note along our list to encourage you to get out and do something that we've been learning about called forest bathing. And the concept is to get out into nature and allow the experience of being out in that space to really help you in your health of all types. You'll notice that we do a lot of videos now with water and other things and we're trying to bring this out. Uh, we didn't have much luck with sound out in that environment and so we've gotten back in the studio but we will have a lot of videos mixing in you know calm water scenes that I think you know might contribute to sort of your enjoyment and your input on this is definitely appreciated. At any rate this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Thanks for joining us. Tschüss, German, au revoir, French, le Heathrow, Hebrew, Choda Hapez, Farsi, Strazich, Russian, Nihama, Chinese, Namaste, Hindi, Hey Do, Swedish, our friends in Australia, Gede, Strazich, Russian, 
um, Konbawa, our friends in J Japan. And in Jamaica, we say, enough respect, walk, good man. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. And we look forward to more information on this exciting news from Tesla.